Okay, well, welcome everyone. So quiet. <laughs> uh, welcome everyone. I'm Kamari Clark, a professor at the University of Toronto at the Center for Diaspora and Transnational Studies, and uh, I'll be your MC for tonight. Thank you for joining us for this event entitled Black Life in the Wake and the Making of Otherwise Projects. Uh, and I'm really honored to have with us here today Professors Christina Sharp and Dion Brand. Welcome to you, and of course my colleague, Kevin O'Neill. Please uh, join me in uh, welcoming them. And of course, I would be remiss to not acknowledge that we have 10,000 anthropologists in this city, in Toronto, this weekend. So welcome to all of you. I know it's not only anthropologists who are in the audience, but um, I, I think it's also a wonderful moment um, that CASCA and the American Anthropological Association meetings are happening uh, this weekend at the same time that we're hosting this event. So we have a, a spectacular evening scheduled for you today. And it's more important than ever because we continue to be in, bar in dark times, in difficult times. Today, we come together in the shadows of a new phase of protracted war in Gaza, a war against the very basis on which humanity needs to be reconceived. And this one, like so many others, has its roots in Europe's colonial land appropriations which have set the place for the conditions of the current catastrophe. Black life in the wake of the plantation, the theme for today, as well as otherwise projects, is framed around similar forms of historical inscriptions. One part for today is Christina Sharp's conceptualization of the afterlife of plantation slavery, compiled and combined with the theme for this Mellon series, that is, the notion of evasion. And that is that evasions that we're referring to are structures of, evasions of structures of carceral power, white supremacy, capitalist extraction, and various forms of land dispossession. It's about how we might imagine and rehearse life within spaces of freedom that exist beyond the world as we know it. And following Dion Brand, the event tonight considers the ways that we live beyond, quote, those worlds, their encounters, and their violences. And it calls on us to take seriously her imagery of having one foot here and the other foot on another planet. That is, other spaces of possibility. And so when reflecting on black life in the afterlife of the plantation, we're reflecting on the consequences of empire the many struggles that we share, whether in Palestine, Ukraine, Syria, Sudan, Somalia, Colombia, and of course with our indigenous colleagues here at home and so many others, these struggles are clearly entangled. So as we join in solidarity, we commit to considering what it means to rehearse life beyond structures of power and spaces of transformation that can move beyond or move us toward new possibilities. And in this regard, I'd like to begin by calling on Professor Robin Maynard to offer a land acknowledgement. And uh, if Professor Maynard can join us, just a quick bio. Um, Robin Maynard is an assistant professor of black feminisms uh, in, here in, in Canada uh, at the University of Toronto Scarborough campus in the Department of Historical and Cultural Studies. And she also has a graduate appointment in women and gender studies. She's the author of Policing Black Lives, State Violence in Canada from Slavery to the Present, and also the co-author of Rehearsals for Living. So I welcome her to join us on the stage and offer a round of gorgeous gathering on black life and otherwise worlds with two of the most brilliant living thinkers. We are gathered too on the territory of the Dish with One Spoon Covenant, 
land stewarded by the Anishinaabe here on Wendat and Haudenosaunee for thousands of years. Let our acknowledgement be an honest one. These lands were settled through violent processes of empire making, black enslavement, indigenous genocide, and land dispossession. These lands are marked by living legacies of racial and ecological violence that are ongoing, endemic. We have a shared moral responsibility, not only to acknowledge the traditional stewards of these lands, but to condemn the circumstances that led to their dispossession from all but a fraction of the territory. Let us not speak then only of gratitude for being present on this private property placed on indigenous lands, but let us instead also condemn all forms of colonial land theft here and everywhere and commit to more liberatory, otherwise futures. Let us move from acknowledgement to a rejection of complicity. Let us refuse to stay silent in the face of past, present, and future colonial atrocities being waged from the stolen lands on which we stand. We're sitting here stand on the grounds from which treaties have been broken purposefully, where indigenous land defenders continue to face state repression, where while we are protected from the elements, many of our unhoused indigenous and black neighbors are pushed into poverty, evicted from parks and all public spaces in the service of capital. We are 13 minutes away from Bay Street, home base of the global center of multinational mining companies, traded at the Toronto Stack Exchange, which are responsible for the massive land dispossession of black and indigenous peoples globally. Let us refuse complicity. From these lands, let us take a stand against this country's support for the reoccupation of Haiti, for its role in funding extractivism in Congo while millions are being displaced, and let us stand in solidarity with the people of Sudan. Let us refuse to be complicit in ethnic cleansing, genocide, and land theft faced by Palestinians in Gaza, the occupied West Bank, East Jerusalem, with the support of, Canadian, of the Canadian government and arms. Let us stand instead in solidarity with the global majority, demanding a ceasefire and an end to apartheid occupation and land theft. Let us stand today in acknowledgement of the stewards of this land, in gratitude for what we all stand to learn from histories of land defense here and everywhere. May we all choose solidarity over complicity today and every day. And may we have the courage to always take a stand in defense of land, air, water, and life. on the Sawyer Mellon Foundation uh, series. Uh, <laughs> Professor O'Neill is the director of the Center for Diaspora Trans